Hi, um, I'm Kimberly Clark, and uh, this is my tchotchke collection. I wanted to introduce myself to you um, in this initial video, so I was trying to think of what, you know, to do to kind of let you kind of know a little bit about me. And I have a lot of makeup and I have a lot of nail polish, but um, I figured that, you know, this would be something that would would really like let you know something about me um, more than, you know, what colors of lipstick I like to wear. Anyway, um, here I am in my uh, little recording studio, and um, I'm here to uh, to just show you my tchotchke collection is, is something that's really important to me. Um, it's uh, it's taken me a while to accumulate it, to amass it, um, and uh, there's lots of different pieces from different periods of my life where different things were happening, and um, you know, I every little piece has a story. Um, so I'm just gonna go through uh, my, my collection, um, and this is part one of one um, for those of you that like to quantify things. Enjoy! I just wanted to, to Google really quick what a tchotchke is. Um, so a tchotchke is um, a small bauble or miscellaneous item. The word has long been used by Jewish Americans and in the regional speech of New York City and elsewhere. So elsewhere, great. Tchotchkes are often given at Hanukkah as part of a game. They can also be sold as cheap souvenirs in tourist areas, which are sometimes called tchotchke shops. Great, okay, cool. So, the word tchotchke derives from a Slavic word for a trinket. Um, in Ukrainian, it's tsiatska. In Polish, it's tsatska. Ugh, all right, Sl Slovak is tchotchka. And Russian is tsatskatsky, tsatsky. Adapted to the Yiddish, tchotchke. So now we know what a tchotchke is, so we're all on the same, we're all on the same page, okay? Now we know what a tchotchke is. Frankly, this cell phone case is kind of like a tchotchke, don't you think? Cute, right? On sale, Patricia Field. Let's just jump right into it. So here's one. This is, um, oop, it's a little frog. I don't know if you could tell it looks like a frog, because it's a frog. But it's also a musical instrument. Sound like a frog? Anyone know, I know what a frog sounds I don't really know what a frog sounds like. I mean, I thought it went like ribbit, but. Apparently it does that kind of noise. Cute. I should put them in a place when I'm done with them. Maybe I'll put them over here. Um, it's a little, little shepherd, but look, he's got a cape. He's got a cape. And look, he's got a little fuzzy sheep too. Or a ram, fuzzy. I like to put these kind of in relation to each other sometimes. So sometimes it, he is looking away and the rams, the sheep's looking over there and he's like, I'm gonna get away. Sometimes he's, you know, he's looking at the sheep. The sheep doesn't know he's looking at him. And then it's, he'll get him with a stick. Cause he's got a, and then sometimes I'll have the sheep looking at him, like stand off, stand back. Mist, you don't own me. You don't, you don't own me. This is a little poo. It's like a big poo, or an ice cream, like a soft serve. I wish I had something. Oh wait, I did, hold on. This is another one of my tchotchkes. It's a, it's a fake ice cream cone pouch. I don't actually want to lick it because it's not real. It also doesn't taste like anything. You think it might, I don't know, taste like snip, sn scratch and sniff, but it's not. Here, it's, it's got a little zipper. I usually carry my vaporizer around in this. Um, this is something also that's a pouch. So this is um, pizza. This is a pizza pie. It's like the back part of a piece of pizza. I love it. It's look. I put drugs and stuff in there. I got two pezzes, two little pezzes. This I think is from a movie. I don't know, from McDonald's or something. I don't know, some stupid plastic movie thing. And this is a really creepy Mrs. Claus. Look at her. She's just, she's got kind of a blissfully, like, kind of, you know, she's just like.
I was gonna, maybe I should do a separate video on this, but no, I might as well just put them both in here. Here's a, my cat lighters, kitty cat lighters. This one's a hologram. What is the, what the fuck? Oh my God, isn't that amazing? This one's more boring, but it's, it's a cat in a bowl or on a, on a wave or a hammock. I'm not completely sure. I think this is one of maybe the last lighters I used when I was smoking, because I no longer smoke. I used to smoke a lot for a real long time. Don't anymore. Feel great about it. Um, this is how it all ended with this little guy. This guy is not, never worked. I never, I bought it after I paid money for this actually. It was a dollar at a store, a thrift store somewhere. I was gonna give it to a friend and then I just kept it, because look, look at that. So that's my cat lighter collection. This is an actual uh, tchotchke from Egypt. It's actually from a tchotchke, sh tchotchke shop in Egypt, in Cairo. My grandmother's uh, caretaker, her name's Wafa, she um, is Egyptian, she went to Egypt. She brought back some lovely gifts, um, and here's what she brought me. Look, he's got a scarab necklace, he's got some jewels. This necklace is beautiful, right? It's from the Berkshires. I love a good Berkshire lady, so I aspire to be one. And it's this one of these snake necklaces where it can just... You can, I mean, you could make it look like a retainer if you want. Also here, I wanted to show the bottom. I believe it's Arabic. Um, if anyone reads Arabic, can you tell me um, how much Wafa paid for this? Because I want to know. Okay, great. This is a towel. This is lovely. My friend, Tina, was just in Japan and she... <laughs> this is a train station uh, in the Kyoto area and they have a foot washing station in the train station and you can go and get your feet washed or wash your feet and they give you these towels. Isn't that great? But I love that she, I also really appreciate that she didn't wash her feet and dry it with this towel and then give it to me. She actually got me a clean one. I mean, I'm pretty sure it hasn't been used. It's beautiful, I love it. I just wanna not accidentally use it because I feel like it won't last more than one use. This is um, a postcard from um, one of my favorite uh, drag, um, clubs, drag nights in all of the world. Um, this is Chantal's House of Shame. This right here, this is Chantal. Now look at this classy lady. She is just the bee's knees. Look at this. I mean, look at the shoes. Come on. The pool. I mean, I think it's a pool. The umbrella. Look, it's just minutes before, seconds before she fell in. She's a legend. I got to meet her. She said I could perform any time. Fly me out there. I mean, you know, put your money where your mouth is, Chantal, but come on. It's at Basie Club in uh, Mitte um, on uh, Senefelder Platz. So if you are in Berlin, every Thursday, this is like the bath salts of Berlin. It is, it's trashy, it's phenomenal. It's Chantal's house of shame. I don't know where this is from or I don't remember this at all. Getting it or. It's just, it was just on my tchotchke shelf. I should remember that I have this, it's a great de-stressor. I feel very calm now. I feel very calm. Loretta Lynn Magnet. I love Loretta Lynn. I don't love that font, but I, you know, you, you gotta love her. It's a necklace, it's a heart that says Zagreb on it. It's in Croatia. Friend Jess brought this back for me. Um, Jess, you can see, um, hanging out with me um, in a in our my video Kimberly hangs previously. Put a little. Little box. Look at that. Like right there. How about that? You can go to that. This is um, a kind of tchotchke art piece that um, I made when I was in an uh, art club in high school. It's a fortune teller. We're, so Psyche, um, what else we got? Destiny, a little tadpole. Love is it a chair. Okay, I am the e What did I get? Ooh, look, I got, I got the, the chair 
turn into a recliner, but look, it also can turn into a pee stain. The tadpole, Destiny, can turn into a frog, little, little frog on a lily pad looking happy, even if or a little squished dead tadpole. Here's another fortune teller that I made in high school. This I feel like I made during a class that I was supposed to be doing something else. Gymnastic, gymnastic sex fortune teller. I'm a big gymnastics fan, so this is part of the, oh, here we go, now you're learning something about me finally. Um, this is, I'm a big gymnastic, I really am, I like, love gymnastics, um, and the Olympics, I guess it was um, some multiple of four years ago, or whatever. Uh, amazing American team, um, so, and I thought they were just adorable anyway. So you run into badass Blaine Wilson in the leather bar in Chelsea. Needless to say, you end up helping him with his Y scale. This is, this is, this is terrible. Se gymnastic sex fortune teller. Just spill Gumby and Pokey. This is, um, this is a figurine of Chairman Mao. My friend Katie got this for me in Vietnam, um, and I dropped him and broke him, and then I sugrued his, uh, which is sugrued is a little kind of um, rubber, like kind of fun tack thing that's permanent. Um, and so I sugrued his head back on, but I wanted this, I, I tried to spice it up a little bit, and I turned him a little bit. So he's like kind of splitting, like in a total recall way or something. That's him, that's in my bathroom on my soap dish. That's where that, that's where he lives. These are finger puppets. A little bear, a little lion, giraffe or llama or something, a, another type of dromedary. Um, these live in a glass vase uh, next to our uh, cocktail set. I don't know what else to do with them. I don't know how else to display them other than on fingers. Mola Mola, which is a, um, it's a Pacific Ocean sunfish. It is a lo very large fish. They're very flat. They can reach up to about eight feet high. Imagine this eight feet high, just kind of swimming at you. I got this at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, which is my favorite aquarium in the whole world. They have this amazing tank, this huge tank, and this fish just is so big and moves so slowly and just swims around and you just sit there and watch and then all of a sudden it'll just be like... Just the magic of, the majesty and magic of nature is constantly, I'm con in constant awe. I am, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, a geek, I love fish. Comfy too, very soft, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a kind of piled terry, and like it. This is a cast of Cats page from a program of When I Saw Cats, which was the first musical I ever saw when I was 13 years old. You can see all of the names of the people. Michelle Artigas, Nina Hennessy. What happened to these people? J. Aubrey Jones, Wade Leboisonneur. Jack McGrady. Where are all these people? Are they doing background work? Are they stars? What's happening? Chol Su Kim. That's a good one. Sally Ann Swarm. That's a drag name. Someday I'm gonna find all these people and I'm gonna write them and I'm gonna say thank you uh, for the memories. Okay, this. This is technically an album, but it's really a tchotchke. I, come on. I, you can't you can't take her. Barbara Streisand, wet, 79, 1979. Look at this, look at the hair. Look at that she's in a pond or a hot spring. She's in a hot spring of some kind. I mean, you can't, and then she's got bubbles. I once got really drunk and saw the way we were at the Bryant Park Film Festival, like they do it. Um, like the kind of summer screenings in the park for free. We got there so early, started drinking, got wasted by the time the movie started. I was just drunk, I was stumbling around, I'm yelling the lines of the movie. You know, like, Hubble's like, you've always been that chum, that, wait, he goes, you've always been that nice Jewish girl, Kitty, and I go, and you've always been that German Gentile boy! And like, people are like, shut the, shut the fuck up. Then I start yelling advice, then I'm just like, your Yuki doesn't deserve you, Katie, you're too good for him, leave it. Like, you know, just awful. And then afterwards the movie I went and I think I peed in the lobby of a, a hotel, or like in a basement, like in a corner.
This is a booba. Okay, first of all, he's wearing um, a cat Halloween costume that I got for my cat, Ponce. Um, it didn't fit him. He's too big for it. It's a unicorn. But this is it. Here he goes. He's a booba. But it's like a Teletubby. It's as creepy and innocuous and baby-like. And if you press his hand, it, it actually does not Here, watch what happens. I once made a performance art piece called Rock Hudson Booba, which was a kind of fictitious but a piece about Rock Hudson that of a relationship that I had had with a fictitious relationship that I had had with him, and I was giving an exclusive interview to the Booba about it, who was uh, wearing a trench coat. Top three tchotchkes. This is a model train set of figurines, but in a, but a strip club theme. Strip club theme. Look, you got someone with her tits out. You got a guy tipping, girls on the stools. I gotta open this. Hold on, I didn't even open this yet. Oh, that broke a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna open it. Is that not the most fucked up thing you've ever seen? What train set has a strip club in it? What the fuck? And that's in the red light. Oh, it's the red light district. Im Rothlicht Viertel. Isn't that just great? The red light district train set figurines for nine euros, 99 cents. Love it. Number two, number two, best tchotchke. This is a portrait. Ugh of Liza Minnelli. This is a friend of a friend took this picture. He was doing this other photo shoot for some ad campaign or something and she, he was like, can I take a picture of you really quick? And she was like, oh sure. So he like somehow captured this picture. I mean, is that, look at this, stunning. One of a kind, art, art. The number one tchotchke of my entire tchotchke collection. Ready, drum roll please. Spoiled kitty. It's, but it says it. It's a Christmas ornament. What the fuck? Look at this. That is a spoiled kitty. Are you kidding me? I love it. It's heavy. It's th thick, thick, high quality poured resin. This is, I, and that kitty, does that kitty not look spoiled? That is a spoiled, look at the tail. Look how fluffy that tail is. He eats as much fancy feast as he wants. He eats can after can of Fancy Feast. Those cans are tiny. He doesn't care, because he's spoiled, and because he has a, a cape. And he has a necklace that says spoiled. Can you see that? It says spoiled. Look at this motherfucker. Spoiled kitty. This is, it's one of my most prized possessions, actually. It's, it's maybe the tchotchke of all tchotchkes. It's an ornament, it's, Port plastic resin, it's got glitter, it's a cat. It's kind of like the best of all chi- it's phenomenal. It's got a crown, it's anthropomorphized in this uncomfortable way. It's just the- it's everything a good tchotchke is, and it really is ju and I got it- I got it in New Orleans at a store- we went into the Christmas store, I don't know, Christmas tree sh store or something. It was like $17. Like, I bought- it was insane. I had, I mean, come on, look at it. I had to. Ugh, spoiled kitty. That's, that's, there we go. That's. So I hope you've enjoyed my tchotchke collection video, part one of one. Um, and I am so glad I just did that. I feel like, I, I feel like I've shared so much. I feel like I, you know me now. We're old friends. We're gonna get along great. Anyway, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the world of Kimberly Clark. This is, it, it's, I'm just, it's it's fun to be here. I'm really excited that I'm here. I'm glad you can be here with me. There's a lot more stuff that I've, that I've got for you. Um, there's, obviously I wear a little bit of makeup. I don't know if you can tell, so I go to Sephora and stuff. So I went to the, where's the thing? The VIB sale. You know, I'm gonna do a haul video of that. Um, just because people, I like watching those. You know, it helps you 
buy, helps you decide if you want to buy something or not. Um, you know, and I'll be really honest, obviously, because look at me. I'm wearing a denim long sleeve dress. You'll tune in for that type of honest, consumer reporting, hanging out with interesting people, collections. I've got, an, I've got a sweater collection. I'm going to do a sweater collection. It's going to be fabulous. A nail polish collection you don't even want to know. It's crazy. I mean, they're not bad. Nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that you tuned in, and thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Kimberly Clark. Please follow me on Instagram, Kimberly Clark Official on Instagram. Check out some of my other videos. Um, watch me getting hit in the face uh, right here. That's a fun one to watch. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you around. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, subscribe. Please subscribe. Thanks. Um, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe!